hey welcome or welcome back to my channel so thank you for joining me for a planner video today so i am going to show you my setup for my traveler's notebook so this is my pocket tn i love this little planner i my husband and my mom and my friends they make fun of me about my um addiction to decorating this thing it's like a never-ending battle but it's something that i truly enjoy and i just wanted to come on and show you and just share what i do so um the first thing is i do change out my traveler's notebook every couple uh months uh, or the season i have a couple of these um i have the buffalo plaid i have um a mustard yellow and uh the blush pink which is this one and i have a black with um pink flowers so for this season i wanted to for the spring season i wanted the blush pink i ordered some really cute charms and bows uh, this bow is from a shop called this bow is from a shop called Duchess Gem Studio and I love her shop. She has beautiful bows. My favorite bows are the Chloe bows. So this is a Chloe bow and this was on a paper clip, but I took it off the paper clip and attached it to one of these rings and then hot glued it back to the ring, added two clasps and a hook or two um, jump bands and a clasp so that it could stay on the rubber band here. Um, this is a really cute planner tassel from a shop called Charms Goods on Etsy. I actually added this charm from Duchess Studios shop onto this planner charm so that I had two B's instead of one. I just thought that, you know, they look so cute together. And then on the side here, I have another planner charm from the Etsy shop Charms Goods and her things are so beautiful, so well crafted. And then this um, planner tassel I actually made myself. So this planner tassel reminds me of what I would put on a Pandora bracelet. So um, like I said, I did make this one personally and everything on this tassel has some type of meaning. So I have my birthstone, a camera for YouTube and filming, my initial, my um, an engagement ring for my husband and um, a pink planner tassel. My daughter's favorite color is pink. Well, it is right now. wonder what she's going to change it to soon. You know how kids can be but um, you know I just kind of put what means something to me and then at the bottom I'm gonna have to kind of flip it upside down so the bottom of my planner I have three notebook charms from charms goods one um, has a B one a sign that says she believes she could so she did and then one butterfly I kind of have bees and butterflies throughout the planner it's kind of a thing and then um, this paper clip that dangles from the bottom and I'm just gonna pull the paper clip out it is a cute enamel heart blush pink and a little thing that says love and a pearl engagement ring I keep these two things um, at the bottom kind of hanging and then this is one that I made myself I found these charms at Hobby Lobby and I just put it on a paper clip it's a message in a bottle and then a pink rhinestone and then just sl slid them onto a paper clip so that kind of hangs inside my planner so my planner really is functional and decorative so I like to keep these little things on top here my little paper clips I make them and some of them I bought this one is a rose um, that I found in one of those little buttons beads bags at uh, Michaels and I hot glued another button bead on the back of it and then this became my paper clip I like to make my own paper clips because I use these paper clips that have the jagged ridges they're not as cute as the gold ones or the ones that I just showed you but they do not mess up your paper um, I'll link it in the description box below I got them off of Amazon but these don't mess up your papers because of the way that it is indented so I love using these in the actual planner itself 
and then so when you open the planner like I said my planner is decorative as well as functional so when you open the planner I have three pen loops on the side one is a highlighter um, I like to keep a high, an erasable highlighter with me if it's something that needs to be done that day it's super important or I need to kind of look out for it I have a highlighter I always keep an erasable pen I use the erasable pen for my calendar because you know I plan weeks in advance and sometimes or most of the times things change and then um, my Colito I probably said that wrong high-tech Kalido pen multicolored pen and I like to color code things in my daily planner so I have black pink blue and green my first page here um, I do love this because I get to decorate it and every three or four months or so I'll go ahead and decorate my planner and I use this daily so I'll show you my daily inserts a lot of my inserts are from plan the day and any any plans printables and um, for decoration in this pocket, uh, this is a Webster's Pocket TN, and I made this washi card uh, just with some laminating paper that was I didn't have to use, so I keep my laminating scraps. So I just used some laminating paper, um, hot glued a bow at the top, and then used different types of washi that kind of correlate with my spring spread and just tied it um, you know wrapped it around the washi card that I made and then I just keep it in this pocket I think it's really pretty to look at um, this was just a piece of cardstock that I laminated and put a doily on the side I do use this when I have a more floppy TN but these TNs are full leather so they're really really sturdy but I like to keep my little for um, I think it's paper studio yeah I like to keep my paper studio uh, little girl planner girl here and I just think she's adorable for spring so I keep her right there then uh, this is a printable that I printed from a shop on Etsy called feather of style I was able to download this on to Adobe Photoshop and kind of make it my own I put my name there and she had different girls with different hairstyles and um, this is the girl that I felt represented me the most uh, I did make this dashboard and so, I'm sorry if the light is hitting it weird so that's all keep moving it so you could see them um, I do have the vinyl TN dashboards from the 1407 planner and I absolutely love 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 these dashboards it makes it you know these look like I have them laminated I wish they made them for the happy planner but unfortunately she does not so I use these I just create my dashboard and slide it in there uh, the first planner or no the first insert sorry that I have in here is my um, yearly calendar uh, I purchased this from Plan the Day on Etsy and it's a coloring calendar. I absolutely love that this. this is my second purchase. I had last year's and this year and I was totally stalking her trying to find out when she was going to have the next year available. Um, I didn't color it. I fell off but I like to know that I can. Last year's I colored most of them halfway through the year whenever I'm bored or have a break I'll just sit there drinking my coffee and I'll color them in so this is a really fun planner every page you have something that you can kind of doodle and they're season specific so um, I thought these are really cute and I really love the paper quality uh, I keep pictures of my family so this is my daughter and my little cousin when we went to Disney Springs that was a really fun vacation um, my husband and my two cousins uh, she is camera shy so <laughs> that is why you do not see her face but um, that's one of my very close cousins and we all went to Orlando together had a fabulous time so I love using my um, HP printer the mini printer I'll have it linked below <clears throat> I can 
take pictures from my phone that will normally never see the light of day, edit it, make it cute, put a title on there, and then now I have something that I could throw in my planner and look at it whenever I want. So I use that little printer all the time. Um, this is another dashboard that I made with a paper pack from, I think it was Joann's. It was on clearance, so I'm not able to link it. I wish I could, but it was an absolutely beautiful paper pack um, with colors that I did not expect that I would like. Uh, this is a dashboard that I made for this kind of like my mom section, my family. So my mom is, I'm very, very close to my mom, my mommy's girl. So this is her on her way to church, but um, I made this cute little spread for her. And this is just some paper that I keep in here to make a list. Um, because I am a YouTuber or, well, an, an aspiring YouTuber and content creator, I think of video ideas like on the fly and I need somewhere where I could just write lists down and write things that I'm trying to do, you know, like crafting ideas. So this is like, I thought of it, let me write it down really fast. And then I have a picture of all my um, uncles and aunts on my mom's side, which normally we're all never together, but for one of my cousin's weddings, they were all together and we were able to take this picture and it was super special. So um, I put that in my planner and in the planner, the pictures are really specific for 2019. So all the great things that happened that year, I try to put them in my planner and date them and um, label them. Then I also made this dashboard with thick letters. So they're, they're called thickers uh, and you could get them at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. I got these at Joann's and um, this is my husband's dash. So it says love and then when you close it, it says you on the back. Only I would really know that's there. But this is um, a vacation that we took to Jamaica last year. And these are the printables from Annie Plans Printables. I absolutely love this daily pr printable from her. Um, I do use it 99% of the time. April with the whole um, lockdown situation. I haven't been really sticking to my habit tracker. But I do use this normally and I use 28 pound paper. This month I use 30 pound paper, I think it is. Um, I'll have both papers that I like linked below, but this is a really nice paper. You do have to print it out yourself and cut them. So if you don't like doing that, that is a drawback, but maybe you could get in contact with any plants. I don't know if she sells them already cut, but I just print and cut my own. So um, I'm just gonna flip to a day where I wrote stuff. So I wrote things down here and what I do is my to-do list goes on that side and then I get the undated because I like to write down my time. Sometimes I'll wake up really early in the morning so I want my day to start at five. But if my day starts at five in the morning, it's gonna end early or sometimes I'll wake up late and my day is start at 10 and then it'll end later. So I keep this undated and I write in the date and then write in my appointments here or things that I know I need to do at a specific time and then my to-dos on the other side. And I absolutely adore these printables so I've been buying her printables for about a year now. Over on the back side of the dashboard, I have a picture of hubby and I on my birthday and then our 13th wedding anniversary. Uh, we went to Columbia. Uh, if you're from Tampa, you would know about it. It's an Ebor. It's a um, very historic restaurant, but the food is amazing. Whenever I go there, I always get the seafood pasta and I ask them to mix their yellow, their red sauce and white sauce together and they so graciously do it and it's amazing. We always get a picture of mojito um, and it is so good. It is the most refreshing mojito you'll ever have. And then I always get the flan um flan sorry <laughs> i always get the flan and then ask him to get the bread pudding and i can never finish it so i end up bringing it back home but their bread pudding is amazing and so is their flan so if you're going to columbia um see the show at least once uh the flamingo dancers it's a great show get the picture of mojito don't get a glass get the whole picture you'll finish it get flan if you like it and then bread pudding if you like it and their seafood pasta is amazing it literally is like you just got the seafood from the ocean 
so I know I went on a tangent my bad <laughs> this was to be a planner but you know this is just something that I like to do and you're just getting to know me because you're going through my planner so um, this is just a dashboard that I made with that paper pack I'm telling you that's the prettiest paper pack I've ever seen I'm so sorry I don't have it to link below this is a trip that my family and I took to um, uh, Old Town Alexandria a while back and Philadelphia and um, I used my mini printer and just kind of wrote down the date so I didn't forget where we were what we did uh, it was really beautiful uh, I don't really travel the US that much I usually go to the Caribbean so it was nice to kind of get out of my shell um, I have a goals planner this is from Annie plants printables as well so um, I haven't used it this year but it's in there because I plan on using it and I like that it's forward planning I have the whole year until 2021 so this goes all the way till Dece December of 2021 so um, I mean sorry June of 2021 so as a teacher this is great for me to even start to plan for next school year and I could write down those kind of big things that are happening especially with me transitioning to a higher grade level um, I did make this paper clip. There will be a DIY video coming up soon. Uh, so make sure you subscribe with all the tips and tricks that I use to make my paper clips and my happy planner dashboards. This is um, a picture of me, my daughter, my mom for my 35th birthday. And um, I have these pen loops attached to my dashboards. They're, they're like on 3M sticky paper, sticky tape, so I can take them off and my dashboard will be fine. Uh, I did end up using these instead of the binder clips that I made because when I uh, close my TN, the binder clip made it a little bit too thick, so I needed something flat. But I will show you how to make the binder clip pen loops too, as well as paper clips. The next section I have is um, another dashboard that I created with that paper pack and thickers. This is my daughter. This is her section. This is her school picture this year. So I always try to keep the most recent school picture. So this is her 2019 school picture. And then next year I'll put in her 2020 school picture. I have another notebook just for lists, but this is more personal lists, like things that I need to get that I'll always forget or a wish list when someone asks me oh what do you want for your birthday or what do you want for Christmas I usually never know because I'm an impulse buyer so if I want something I'll just buy it so I said I'm going to start to write down a list of things that I want so when my husband or someone close to me asks me what I want at least I could look back and think okay I did really want a, um, a cricket machine um, maybe my hubby could get me a cricket machine for my birthday instead of me just going out and buying it and then this is my daughter for her dance that she went to. This is a paper clip from, let me pull this off. This is a paper clip, a fuzzy, I just call it fuzzy ball. They are so cute from um, Duchess Gem Studios. At the end of the video, I'm gonna do a quick little mini haul of all the other bowls that I bought from her. And I love her shop. Um, this is an actual, this is a, so this is kind of weird so this is the 1407 oh, let me straighten this up this is the 1407 vinyl dashboards but because i didn't have look at this all crooked it's all crooked okay sorry y'all because i didn't have pockets on this and the target dollar store pockets were too big i used my laminator and some laminating sheets and actually made pockets that i stuck on the back of the dashboard so that I could stick my stickers in here. And I'll do a DIY video to show you how to make these pockets here. And you could stick them on anywhere. And then I got these pockets, TN like pockets that you that slide open. You could put bigger things in there like receipts. I have stamps, um, things like that uh, in this pocket. And they sell this on Amazon. It'll be linked below for your traveler's notebook for a pocket size. And then this is also from Annie Plans Printables. 
Um, when I feel like I'm bugging out that month and I'm buying just too much stuff, I like to write it down. And um, writing down my purchases really makes me not want to buy stuff. So when I know that I'm spazzing out, I'll use my expense tracker. Uh, this is just where I could put some business cards or um, those cards that you get when you go to store, rewards cards. Sometimes I put rewards cards in here, but not that much because then it just bulks up my planner. I never use them. I did put another pocket back here too, and I have some to do stickers from um, ambitiousmimi.com, Ambitious Mimi on Etsy. You stick those back in here, and then two paper clips. This one I made um, with ribbon, and then this is another fuzzy ball from Duchess Gem Studios. I always like to keep a binder clip on the back of my planner um, just in case I just need to stick something on there really quick and this bind and I and I can't afford to lose it this binder clip actually matches my um, TN so that's why I don't mind keeping it there and then I have some sticky notes right here that I could just write something really quick and then stick it in my planner and it's on a piece of construction paper well sticker well not even sticker paper what type of paper is this it's on some glitter paper yes glitter paper that i just glued down the sticky note to i could write something on and then a butterfly clip let me put this back i don't even know where i took this from i'm just gonna put it right here so that is my tn in a nutshell um i try i didn't want this to be a very long video so i'm sorry if i was talking fast but uh, this is kind of my daily plan. I do use this every day um, to kind of peek through and then plan my day. I basically use this to plan my day too because I have the option to write in my appointments and time and my daily to-dos. I don't do a daily list in my happy planner. And the next video will probably be my happy planner set up. And I can't talk. My happy planner set up. And that will kind of show you how I use my planning system. But I just wanted to share with you my TN and um, my little creative projects. I am thinking about making these um, Pandora planner charms. So if you would be interested, please let me know in the comment box below. Um, and I am thinking about just kind of making these with about four to five charms that you will find special and um, you know mailing it to maybe a couple of my like two subscribers when I hit 50 subscribers or something so if that's something you think that you all would enjoy please let me know and I will make them and then give them away as a giveaway all right well thank you for sticking with me I know the video was a tad bit long but um, I appreciate you coming by and I hope to see you again catch you in the next one bye bye